Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we are going to go over the FV4005 again. <laughs> and uh, the reason we're doing this again is because 23 hours ago, as of this recording, Chad O Chads dropped a comment on my previous 4005 video and said, Ricky, now that you've grown as a person, which straight away I'll say I appreciate the fact that you've noticed I've grown as a person, that's uh, it's quite nice of you to say. But yeah, Ricky, now that you've grown as a person, since this horrible take, you should remake this video. Nobody agrees with you in the comments section for a reason. This thing is horribly unbalanced and the reason I completely skip Era 1 altogether. Okay. Right. Let's, um, let's break this down into three, possibly four areas. Firstly... Skipping Era 1 altogether because of the 4005, I feel, is an incredibly foolish thing to do. Because you are missing out on one third of Cold War. Um, and in my opinion, that is a considerable overreaction to the vehicle. Secondly, I did go through the comments of that video and he is right to say that a lot of people don't agree with me. And that's fine. But there were trends that I noticed in the comments. The first thing is people people have an issue with the 4005 having a powerful gun. They have an issue with this powerful gun taking most of your health. You know, we're talking about T-44A, M-46, Centurion 2. You can shoot one of those tanks and you can leave it with... 400, 300 hit points. People have an issue with that. And for me, I simply don't have an issue with that. I have played the 4005. I have been shot by the 4005. And not once in my 3,000 or whatever battles, I think battles, I think I've got just over 3,000 battles, 3,300 battles in Era 1. Uh, in all of my games in Era 1, not once have I ever thought to myself, man, that tank is broken, man, that tank is overpowered, I, you know, it's, it's too good, that needs a nerf. I've genuinely never, ever thought that. I've thought that about other tanks, and the tanks that I have thought that about, I have made videos on them, you know. Weasel was one, the 477 is another, the 4211 is another. So there are tanks in the game that I do feel that about. But the 4005 just isn't one of them. I don't have an issue with a tank doing that much damage. It's a 183mm gun. It is meant to be formidable. And this tank is not without its weaknesses. Yes, you're a new player, you get smacked by one of these things. It's going to take you by surprise. It's going to be a shock. It's going to hurt. But then at that point, I personally feel you've got a choice to make. You can sit and cry about how unfair you think this is and, you know, how unfair life is in general. Or you can think to yourself, all right, you know, it is what it is. Um, what do I need to do to beat this thing? And there are tanks in the game where you think to yourself, all right, what do I need to do to beat this thing? We'll take the 477, for example. Well, you need to get around behind it. Okay, uh, and what if I can't? Well, you're screwed, aren't you, really? Fire high explosive at it and do maybe 300 damage. But that's the era 3, where you've got like 5,000 hit points, and you're going to be there forever just firing high explosive at it. It's a similar story for the 4005, but it is, it is far more effective. In Era 1, High Explosive can do anywhere between 450, 550 damage. And if we look at the hit points of the 4005 with the upgraded turret, which is what I've got here, 1,950. So, with the right ammunition, with the right with the right rolls, you can take... Bye-bye. You can take one of these things out in four shots with High Explosive. And that, you know, that's true for the whole team. It might not just be you firing at this thing. It might be two or three, or it could be your platoon. You know, if, you, if you've got a platoon and you fire high explosive at this thing, it'll just vaporize. It'll vanish. It'll dissolve. 
it'll be gone. And even if you're not in a platoon, the team just needs to fire high explosive at it. That's it. It's got it's got a glaring weakness. It has no turret armor. It can be taken down. The second thing is it can't traverse its turret 108, uh, 360 degrees. It's limited to 180. So if you really want to annoy a 4005 driver, sit behind them. That's it. Sit behind them. That is... It's amusing. <laughs> it's very amusing to do that. And I've done it many times. It is, it's, it's a known strategy for beating a 4005. Now, yes, there are times when it will hit you. There are times when you'll get hit. You know, the first clip in this, I got hit by one. Like, okay, all right. It is what it is. It's not game-breaking. It's just, it is what it is. And it's got its weaknesses just like it's got its strengths. And part of the game, and this is what you'll learn as a new player, you'll learn this very early on, Part of this game is just learning the tanks. It's learning the maps. It's it's a tough, it's a steep learning curve. It's difficult. No one's going to say it's easy. But this is all part of learning the game. And I'm at a point in the game now where if I see a 4005 on the enemy team, it kind of pleases me in a way because I'm thinking, okay, I can get a max high explosive damage roll out of you. And I can't really do that with... I can't guarantee that with most other targets. I can guarantee it with a 4005. Good. Bring it on. That's what I want. And the the, the aim reticle... The, the gun takes forever to aim in this thing. And... I just... Doesn't bother me. It just does... <laughs> it just does not bother me. At all. I do not see this as a problem. Um, I quite like 4005s. Because, like I said, it's more damage for me. Bring it on. So that's the that's the first sort of trend that I noticed in the comments in the previous video. The second trend is, and I've noticed this not just in that comment section, but in just generally when people are talking about the 4005, they say they don't like it when there's four or five of them on the enemy team. Now, this is where being very precise about the words we use matters. You don't like the 4005 when there are four or five of them on the enemy team. That is not the same as disliking the 4005 as a standalone vehicle. That is not a problem with the vehicle. That's a problem with the matchmaker. So, I know that's out of our hands. Wargaming may need to tweak the matchmaker. Or, they just need to bring more lines in. We do, we've just had the um, the Russian heavies come into the game. Maybe, maybe the matchmaker just needs more tanks to dilute the the concentration of 4005s. I, I don't know. I don't know what the matchmaker's like. I don't know how it works. I don't know why it puts so many 4005s into one game. I agree, that is a bit much. But that is true for any tank. I mean, four or five, four to elevens. That's tough to beat. Four or five, four seven sevens, especially. That's very tough to beat, you know, I, I I, get it, you know, those numbers are not conducive to healthy gameplay, but that is not the same as disliking the vehicle itself. So, yeah, we've got to be careful about how we talk about this vehicle, or any vehicle, we've got to be precise when we discuss what we do and don't like about certain things, and that is something that... I have to do in almost every video I make because I'm putting this stuff out there and I don't, you know, I've got to be careful. Can't just blurt something out because, you know, oh, I got my feelings hurt once or whatever. I have done that in the past and it doesn't go over very well. It doesn't put me in a good light. So there we go. The 4005. I think it is absolutely fine. I don't see any issues with it. I think it's absolutely fine as it is. I think it fits perfectly into Era 1. We've got the Rock Crawler in Era 2. Same gun. And it's just as fun there as it is in Era 1. The final point I'll make on this is this is a lesson that I've had to learn through being a CC and having the uh, privilege of being a CC and the benefits that come with that. 
a lot of people want this vehicle to be nerfed. They want the they want the gameplay experience in Era 1 to be made easier, because that is essentially what would happen. If you nerf the 4005, you won't have to deal with it like it is now. It will be easier, easier to play in Era 1. One thing I've learned the hard way is just because you make something easier doesn't mean you've made it better. What do I mean by this? Well, as a CC, I have the privilege of asking for free XP, so I could, so I can free XP any line I want. I did this with the French line. <clears throat> I did this with the new French line that came out uh, about this time last year. I free XP'd the whole thing because I thought, well, I can make videos on every single tank, and um, I won't have to deal with the grind. It makes it easier. But what I found was not having the grind. Not having that challenge made made the game boring. And I regret doing that because I made the game boring for myself. If there isn't a challenge to something, then there is no value in the reward. You know, you can make the 4005, you can nerf it if you want. Um, you can make Era 3 easier to play if you want. But all you're going to do is dilute the meaning and, you know, you're going to dilute the achievements that you get. You know, it's part of enjoying Era 1 is to potentially face off against one of these things and outplay it. If you nerf it and you make it harder to play or easier to play against, it just then becomes, uh, whatever, uh, that doesn't mean anything anymore. You know, the 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 meaning and the meaning and reward comes from the struggle. If uh, if life were easy, it wouldn't. There'd be there'd be no meaning to it. Essentially, life being hard makes the reward and the successes even more special. And that's exactly what I feel with the four thousand five. It's fine as it is. Yes, it's difficult to play against sometimes. Yes, it can slap you very hard. But that just presents you with the opportunity to deal with it in a manner that is that, that can be done. You know, there are other tanks that there have been other tanks in the game that are, you know, you could you can't really say the same thing. Oh, just deal with it. It's like, nah. The old version of the weasel, there that you can't no. That was a one man army. You can't just deal with a one man army. The four thousand and five can be dealt with. It really can. It's not as potent as you might think it is. It has its weaknesses. You just need to know what they are. And you need to exploit them. And once you do... You can get into some interesting duels with these tanks. That's where the reward is. That's where it's fun. That's where it's exciting. And that is where the meaning is. There you go. Alright. If you've enjoyed this video, which I'm guessing most of you probably haven't... <laughs> leave it a like. If you haven't enjoyed this video leave it a dislike so that's probably going to happen <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one